it's 18, it's 17. Welcome back to First Tap. Uh, 100,000 Poets for Change is a global poetry initiative started in March of 2011 with the vision that poets and artists around the world would organize local poetry, art, and events simultaneously as a means to discuss real political, environmental, and social changes within the guidelines of peace and sustainability. The first 100,000 uh, Poets for Change event was hosted on September 24th, 2011, and of course today is September 25th, so uh, just a year and a day on. We want to explore that and how, how successful it has been, and the initiatives coming to the fore in with us is the founder of Poetic Vibes TNT, Rachel Colomo, and uh, the co-promoter for the event, Mr. Navid Lancaster. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Thank you for Welcome. joining us. Thank you. Thank you. The, the, the initiative is a global initiative. How has Trinidad Tobago participated in this? Well, Poetic Vibes, along with other poets and musicians, have come together to be a part of this global movement for change by participating on September 29th at three venues, Nalis Amphitheater, Propaganda Space in Belmont, as well as Trinidad Theatre Workshop in Belmont. Let's talk about how effective you think the initiative has gone since 2011 in terms of raising awareness through arts of political, social issues around the world. Well, it was founded by Mr. Michael Rottenberg in September of 2011, and since then, Stanford University has endorsed them as the largest gathering since for, of poets, musicians, artists, as well as, well as photographers. They have brought together over 100 countries in this event, whereby they have put on shows to promote peace. They have started initiatives, community initiatives, outreach programs, <coughs> and really have championed the cause for peace mm -hmm. and sustainability worldwide. Now, with Lancaster, your co-promoter for this, let's yeah. go through uh, the three main events that will mm -hmm. be taking place on Saturday. All right. Well, on Saturday, uh, the first venue is from 12 noon to 2.30. Uh, that's at the Nalis Amphitheater. And that is a structured open mic segment where we'll be featuring art photo and photography. Um, we also have some feature artists that will be there, and also uh, some personalities like Mr. Errol Fabian, he'll be there as well. Uh, the band, local band Gazette, will be performing. Uh, also, <coughs> Nellet Blackman and the August Band, they'll mm -hmm. be performing as well. Um, and then everything shifts to Belmont. Everything shifts to Belmont, mm -hmm. yes, to the Ufig, um propaganda space on Uffig Road, Belmont, and that is from 4 to 6 p.m. And uh, there will be featured Master Pierce, Tony Hall, John Stalmeyer, and many more. There will be also some guest speakers as well at the event as well for this particular event. Um, <clears throat> then from there, it's going to be shift to, shifted to the grand concert, the grand finale. And that will take place at the Trinidad Theatre Workshop, which is on Jenham Avenue in Belmont, and that will be from 6.30 to 9.30. And from there, we'll be featuring Elspeth Duncan, who is a multimedia artist, uh, the Freetown Collective, well-known spoken word uh, artist, Marge Blackman, John John, who is a fantastic singer, Dio Baptiste Jazz, Dio Baptiste Jazz um, Project, um, Darren Salandi, and other artists as well. How, how <coughs> does one compare the effect or the, or the effect that, that artists in, in developed countries would have because they have a bigger voice? They are more well promoted. Some of them they have very huge profiles internationally, and also instruments in society, civil society instruments that can help them get their, their voices out there where, where the policymakers are concerned to Trinidad Tobago, which is a, a lot less sophisticated and, and developed in that respect. Uh, is, is it comparable at all, or are we just starting to develop that sort of um, instrument? Yes and no. Uh, we're starting to develop it because this is a, for say, like a new initiative in terms of worldwide collaboration. We're just doing the Trinidad leg of this worldwide event. Um, and also, due to the state of the country, actually the theme of this, this particular one is um, changing the conversation for peace. So basically what we're trying to do is to bring awareness and open the conversation to the possibilities of stabilization in this country. My, my, my question is not, not meant to be insulting in any way. Why should, why should we listen to artists? Artists are the pulse of a society. Mm -hmm. I think they are the ones who really <coughs> connect with the audience, connect with the grassroots, connect with people on a whole. Music has transcended to many boundaries and if it means to, to get that message out, I think artists are the ideal people to get it out, mm -hmm. to really champion that cause and really get people aware of what it takes to really bring about change in do, society. Do you get a sense in this country though that artists 
provide a balance of thought, a balance of perspective. Very often artists are just extremely left, uh, very, very liberal. Mm -hmm. And some, some would say that in other countries, there's a balance of right and left thinking mm -hmm. in terms of ideology. Um, they do provide a balance. Uh, also, I personally think artists have the freedom to express, license to express what they feel, what they reflect and see in society in a way that um, other people can't do or won't do, you know? And um, as Trinidad artists, I think we have a, a, a particular stake in our country in the way it's going, you know? And uh, this is an opportunity for us to see how we think we could progress towards, especially towards themes like, like this. Yeah. We have a, a particular group of artists who have been very instrumental in reflecting society over the last few decades or so. I'm talking about the Calypsonians. Yes, they, uh, they would have been at the forefront of that kind of push and movement uh, to create a national identity, to be the, the social conscience and so on. Um, are we seeing now an evolution where other types of artists uh, are, are taking up the baton from the Calypsonian and running with it to do a similar work? I believe so. I believe the spoken word artists who are not quite new, but the spoken word artists have taken up that cause and really pushed the envelope a bit by their pieces, by their poetry and what they really talk about in terms of trying to get people to respond. I think it's about having that tendency to respond to something, to talk about issues and really make a change. But, but do you think it's really disseminating to the ground roots, the, the, the grassroots? Because very often, um, this is no insult, these are wonderful initiatives, but they're, mm -hmm. very, they're very artsy people involved here, and, and, the, and, and the same kind of audience mm -hmm. is generated by these, these types of gatherings over and over. Mm -hmm. It's not mass media. It's not a wide swath of society. It's people mm -hmm. who are interested in art, the, the, the fan base of these people. And, and sometimes when you want policy changes made, you have to go a bit wider than that. That's why that's where I believe the media comes in, the responsibility of the media to really get involved, to really take charge and air these programs to cover it and hear what the artists have to say and really carry it forward to the mass audience. So the media should be doing their part? Yes. But some it's a media collective is. responsibility. Yeah. Well said. <laughs> okay. So uh, just to refresh your memories again, structured open mic art and photography display happening at the Nallis Amphitheater between noon and 2.30 in the afternoon um, on Saturday. Then uh, everything shifts to Belmont. Um, the fishbowl discussion, the conversation happens at uh, the propaganda space on Earthic Road in Belmont between 4 and 6. And then after that, from uh, 6.30 down to 9.30, it's the grand finale, the big concert. That's going to be happening at the Trinidad Theatre Workshop on the corner of Norfolk uh, and Jerningham Avenue in Belmont. It's all about 100,000 poets and musicians and for it's change. Great. It's part of a global event uh, being organized on that day. And, free. and, and free. everything is free, 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 free participation. You don't have to spend a cent. Um, if you want to get more information, uh, who do we call? Uh, who do we write to? Poetic Vibes. Poetic Vibes at dot pv at gmail.com. And you call 799-7056. And you can also check our event page on Facebook. That's 100,000 Poets and Musicians for Change for more information. Mr. Lancaster, we have about 90 seconds left. Mm -hmm. how, do, how, does, how do the, the discussions, and with, 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 in addition to the media, of course, yeah. and, 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 and offerings at these forums, or what mechanisms do, does the organization have in place to get that information out there, because it's wonderful to have the, the voices saying mm -hmm. what they feel and all of that. But it, it, do, do you get a sense it's getting out? Uh, are there mechanisms in place to make sure that it reaches the right ears? It's getting out slowly but surely, uh, because this is actually the, I think it's the second time that this has happened in this country, this kind of event. Yes, um, so basically, it's a new initiative, and we are trying our best now to get the, what, what we think out there. So actually, right now, we're just working on getting the infrastructure and everything up and running. You're doing this in a language that a particular group of people would mm. understand, a particular generation would understand. Mm. How do you intend to tap into the understanding of those older than that generation mm. and younger than that generation with this? The conversation, what is happening at mm. Ithic Road in Belmont at Propaganda Space, yeah. we have invited, I believe, our 
elder elderly people, elderly persons involved, like Tony Hall, who have who has been around for quite some time. I think their contribution is vital. We, we as young people need to hear what they have gone through, what they believe is necessary to make that turn around. What, what's going to make a difference now? These people who you're talking about, they have been advocating for many, many years, mm -hmm. in many instances without much success, without the authorities listening to them at all. What's the difference here? The difference here is that it's a new wave, it's a new day, and young people are not waiting for approval. They are just going out there and doing what they need to do. Mm -hmm. So I think there will be more demanding that you hear and you listen. All right. Thank yeah. you for being with us. Uh, Rachel Colomo and Naveed Lancaster, once again, structured open mic uh, takes place uh, at Nalis Amphitheater, 12 noon to 2.30. Uh, then the conversation, a fishbowl discussion, propaganda space, 4 to 6 p.m. And the grand finale, uh, 6.30 to 9.30 p.m. at the Trinidad Theatre Workshop on Saturday, the 29th of September. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Much Thank success you with you, friend. That's our show for today. Thank you so much for the pleasure of your company. Have a great day. Do something nice Bye, to everyone. someone today. And let your voice be heard.